Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this autumn house on the marsh. Uh, what I want to point out here is that the painting is going to be about the house. So you can see that very dark area on the bottom there. That's, that will distract so easily. So we want to be aware of that and be careful of it. All right, some of you, a lot of you have asked me to continue to uh, put in the drawing sections of this. Uh, so some of you, a lot of you enjoy it, so I will leave it in and uh, you can watch me draw. Position that house. You know, I always start with uh, some very light circles to position my shape of the house. In this case, uh, it's important. You want to make sure it's in the right spot. You want to make sure it's big enough. And uh, then once you do, you can go in and and, you know, restate those lines, make them stronger. Okay, so there's my, uh, there's my house with the porch, and there's a base on that porch. That's basically the, really, the only drawing. The rest, of, you know, is, is uh, the leaves and trees in the background and so forth. So, go very easy with that. Chimneys are important in this house. Okay, there's some trees, suggestion of trees in the background. And these are little notes that I make so that when I'm painting, I know, you know where these shapes are. Okay, look at the distance from the house to the, to the edge of the marsh and the dark area, the reflection. And then the reflection of the house in the marsh. Okay. So the main thing is getting that uh, getting the house in the reflection. It's the main part of this. Once that's done, uh, the rest is just painting. All right. Let's paint this baby. All right, a little blue, uh, little blue in the sky. I started with a little cobalt and then I added just a touch of Windsor blue. Okay, get it in, this, in the uh, same thing in the water. Okay, so we'll put that um, blue both, uh, mixing of cobalt and Windsor blue in the sky and in the water. Very light sky today. All right, we'll get the roof in. Uh, the roof is a gray. I mix this with uh, cobalt blue, touch of raw sienna, and if it gets too green there, just add a, a pinch of rose to it to neutralize it. So I'm putting the first uh, stripe in here of the gray across the roof. Then what I'm gonna do is add some blue here is the blue that I mix for the sky, and I'm just pushing that in there. And the reason I'm doing that is because the, the sky reflects very strongly into onto the roof, and it, it gives you that blue color. So, uh, and you don't want it to be everywhere. You don't need it to be everywhere. It looks, gives it much better vibration if you just throw it in there and let it mix itself, okay? And there's a porch roof uh, a little below that. Put a little blue in that as well. Carry that across. This is a very iconic house in uh, Essex. It was on the cover of, um, I think it was uh, New England Magazine, New England Magazine that was with the Boston Globe and it became very famous. All right, I'm putting some darks under the porch. I'm, uh, I just made a dark with, I use a little quinacridone sienna there because it's very warm and it's reflecting the marsh. And then I'm basically taking uh, some water and pulling it down. And so it's very dark at the top and I'm rinsing out my brush. Again, just pulling the, using clear water here and pulling it down. 
You can use a little bit of raw sienna if you want, but keep it nice and warm in between those poles and it supports the roof. This is the railing. There's a railing that goes across. You can see it's sort of a gray and I'm painting around the poles. Poles actually go all the way down t through the railing that you hold on to that barn, you know, that uh, look of almost a barn. All right, I'm popping in the windows, just using the same uh, sort of violet color there that I had on my brush. Okay, three little windows, and there's three more windows in the, in the front of the building here. Added some red, little cad red to it, popping in those chimneys. They're a very distinctive part of the house, so. All right, we're pushing in the trees now. Now, I st what I did was I started with some phthalo green mixed with uh, raw sienna, and that's gonna be my base. And then I mixed up a little darker color, which is the uh, cobalt, uh, ultramarine with quinacridone sienna, and just letting those colors mix, pushing uh, some raw sienna into it. Those are the dark colors underneath the trees. And then what I'm doing here is, uh, uh, you know, that you got to be very careful of these trees taking over your painting. So even though they look red and orange and quinacridone sienna, I'm, I'm going to start with just a really yellow here in the sky, basically painting the shape of my trees, leaving sky holes, letting it run right down into that green and dark colors that I put. And then once I'm done shaping my trees, I'm, I'm going to add some little bit of quinciana here, letting it mix. It's, it's a nice dark warm color. So I'm just mixing that into the yellow all over, just letting it do its thing. And what I'll do is I'll increasingly add uh, more pigment to that to, you know, here and there to get it rich in color, but uh, not, not to go as deep as the color in the photo. You know, photos, have, uh, are, they lie to you, so they're tricky. You have to watch it because they will take over the painting easily here. So it's all still wet, so I'm just pumping in some of that color in the yellow, but not everywhere, you know, let, let it, let the yellow still exist and it'll turn, you know, turn this color orange. Use some sky holes here and there and just let it all come down. Keep working it until you're happy. All right, there's a there's a vine growing up on the side of the house here. Uh, it's it's more red than I have it here. So I started with the green and the raw sienna again, just to, just to get it in there. I don't want it to be too strong, so uh, pushing some raw sienna into it. Going back up with some a little more red now that that color has set up. It's still damp, so you know you don't want it to dry. It's still damp. You can even give it a little spray if you want, but this will keep the edges nice and soft. And adding a little bit on the vine here. Okay, and then there's a, a set of trees, a row of trees in the back of the house here on the left. And I'm starting that with the green as well. This is uh, uh, phthalo green with raw sienna into it. And I'm just painting around that house. And then on the top, I'm just adding that 
a yellow orange color to the top. It's not def certainly not as strong as the color on the right. These trees are off in the distance. Maybe get a little stronger there. A lot of color out there today, you know. All right, so we'll get the uh, we'll get the field in here, and I'm just doing the same thing. This is that it's actually raw sienna that I'm pushing in a little bit of the Quin sienna. Not too strong, you know. Join those colors, let them run into one another. And then this is the green again, very, it's a very dark green, uh, thalo, I get thalo green. You know, it's mixed with raw sienna, but I also have some of the quinciana in there, so it's, it's very dark. And then I'm just, you know, pushing it across. Don't let it get too dark on you, you know, because if it gets too dark, you're gonna have this line across and it, it really, um, it really can take over the painting. So I'm, I'm adding the bottom with that orangey color, raw sienna with a little bit of quinciana mixed into it. And that will be my reflection down at the bottom, mixing into that. You can see it's a reddish brown, which is easier to take than the black. You know, you don't want that black color in there. All right, so we'll work on the reflection here. The reflection is uh, a little darker than the, the building itself. And we're gonna, I'm gonna wash that with cobalt blue or ultra and bring it down. But I'm gonna paint the reflection first. And this is a bluish gray that the house is reflecting in there. You can pull some of that orangey color right into that reflection. I know it looks a little darker now, but we're gonna cover it with the blue. And I'm just bringing the uh, Bringing those chimneys down, a little, a little wave to it. All right, when it's dry, you can pop in the windows. So here's a wash of uh, cobalt blue, and that the house was dry here before I put the uh, this wash on. But this will, you know, sort of set it into the water, uh, and I'm loosening it up a little bit, letting some uh, waves go across. But essentially, it's all going to be blue, and get a little bit darker here as you go towards the bottom. That pulls that forward. All right. And then when that dries, I'm going to go a little darker with some, some waves on the water. Okay. And maybe another one in the front here. Okay. All right, that area looks a little bare to me. It's a big space in the sky, so what I'm gonna do is put another tree in the back here. I know it's not in the photo, but just to fill up that space. It's very light. I painted it with a blue, and then I just added a little more of the color in there. Just strengthening the line on the house, putting some birds in. All right, as I look at this, I, I personally don't like the bright orange color. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a wash of the light, a light green wash over the whole thing. And that brings that, brings that down. If you like it, you can do it. If not, 
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon.